Right now, I'm waiting in the Des Moines airport for my flight to Washington, D.C. and the National Ag Day festivities out there. Looking forward to a fantastic trip. We just got to the National 4-H Center, so we're uh, headed inside. You're looking at Michael Baird from Indiana Giveaway, Michael. All right, then you got Jackson Troxel going in the door, Mark Avila, all AFAers, and hopefully we can document some more of their fun this weekend. Checking in Sunday into the lobby of the 4-H Center. All 100 delegates, AFA, FFA, 4-H, and NAMA are gathered and are ready to begin our Sunday night session. Uh, you can see Chatter is lively, they're all getting along great. Can't wait to get started. What are some of your best practices to remain positive? Know what your opponents are saying um, and to be aware. One thing is important is to be enthusiastic about it. In agriculture, what's the one thing you don't mess up? Food. We're eating at Ben's Chili Bowl, which is on U Street. It's awesome. That's my chili dog. This is kind of the crowd. There's Carolyn. And we are just taking in the sights on a Sunday before we start our AFA programming. There's the AFA student advisory team at the zoo. Wave at us, folks. The raising of the flag at Iwo Jima. We're here at the Lincoln Memorial. Washington Monument. We are in the Jefferson Memorial. We have the bronze of Thomas Jefferson. And under his cloak, you have hidden five things important to Jefferson. Two of which, tobacco and corn, are agricultural products. How cool is that? I'm Nathan Johnson. I'm the one that's uh, been filming and narrating a little bit. The videos you are about to see are a good representation of all across the nation. I think there's five or six individuals who are talking about the current issues in their state, where they're from, and who they're here representing. Hopefully we can show you exactly what's kind of going on around the nation and give you a good perspective into what the youth of America is saying. So let's check it out. This is Aga Onward. All right, if I wanted sass. <laughs> You got it. I'm Heidi Andreessen, and I am serving as the Southeast State Vice President, and I'm currently in D.C. for National Ag Day. And I'm Stephen Brachis, uh, serving as the Iowa FFA State President this year. Hi, my name is Holly Kyler. I'm from Purdue University. I'm here representing Indiana 4-H. And I'm a senior at South Dakota State University, and I'm representing my home state of South Dakota. My name is Mariah Huff. I'm a junior at Purdue University this year studying agriculture education. I'm representing Michigan State University and from the great state of Michigan. I go to Kansas State University, and I'm rep here representing the state of Kansas. And during my congressional visit, I will be talking about the Farm Bill, which is a current issue in my state. I will discuss the importance of crop insurance to Kansas farmers. I will be talking about water management in Minnesota and the different tillage methods that we practice currently and different methods that might be looked upon in the future. It is early Tuesday morning and we are packing up to leave the 4-H Center. There's my roommate, Jed, and there's Mr. Fancy in there, getting his head did. Uh, we're excited to go make our congressional visit today. What do you guys think? Woo! All right, there's some enthusiasm. Okay, All right. <laughs> All right. Jackson Troxel, ambassador for Peace, Indiana, and the ladies. <laughs> we're loading up here to get on the bus to go to dead down, or to head to downtown and head to the Capitol building. Hey, Affair is excited for National Ag Day. <laughs> AFAers piling off the bus, FFAers congregating around, 4-Hers are doing 4 he things. And we just arrived at the beautiful Capitol building. We've already had two meetings with our congressmen. And we're just educating out here on the hill. We even educated some people from Iowa who were from Iowa and didn't know anything about agriculture. We told them what was up. It was awesome. We are beginning our AFA program. We just had breakfast with Secretary of Agriculture, uh, Tom Vilsack. Our farmers and our ranchers adapt to changing climates. Here as we load the bus in front of the monocle after that great breakfast, uh, we are off to do some more programming. <laughs> National Egg Day luncheon on Tuesday. I just think it's so important to talk about. This is our AFA programming dinner. We have 
have a plethora of guests from Capitol Hill, and we are just so excited to host them for dinner this evening. I've enjoyed getting to uh, meet people on a government level of our of our awesome industry. Uh, meet people that are shaping policy and shaping the way uh, that producers such as myself and future producers will help impact the industry as well. As well as being able to get their advice and how they got to where they are is such an inspiration to me as I go forward with my career. My favorite part about the Ag Day experience truly has been the interaction with our fellow students and all the folks that we got the chance to meet and really having the opportunity to slow down and visit with these folks one-on-one -on -one and have them to take time out of their busy schedules to meet with us and to kind of share with us some of the nuances of what makes ag policy a reality, all the influences, all the challenges, and all the opportunities that our generation has to uh, help out in that process and take part in it as uh, we grow in our careers. Urban America is so different than rural America. And that's why it's so important that education, agriculture education, does need to be in every state because the kids are the future of America and the future of agriculture. I just arrived back in the Des Moines airport uh, after spending almost five days in Washington, D.C., spreading the great news of agriculture. I hope this video can go far and show a lot of people about the agriculture and what we did when we were talking to people on the Hill. Had a great time doing it. Thank you all for making this possible.